If there's any loving trucking video you should watch until the end, this is the one. today's video I wanted to include a couple of shots that I couldn't include any other time here's one that is our last day up at the ranch in Oklahoma Yeah. yeah, I still have sweat trickling down the front of my body. That is when a shower feels incredibly good. Oh. I took, um, we had a, a rubber, what's it bungee. called? We had a, a rubber bungee in the side box. And so I took that, <laughs> I attached it to the front of our tractor dump truck, which is actually a wheelbarrow, of course. Then I would take off running and pull that, and it would get it going, and we'd have all that momentum. And I'd just keep running out front, pulling that rubber bunch. Yeah, you were pulling the wheelbarrow. I just lifted. <laughs> yeah. You were. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> And then I would pull I it no back. More, I had no more push left. No. Boy, my lips are chapped. I just love that shot. <laughs> we were tired. It was just a good day. And it's so beautiful with firelight. Okay, one more shot that I have to tuck into this video today. And that is a time lapse in Dallas. It's amazing. Just watch what the clouds do. by um, speeding it up, we get to see what's actually happening. But it's happening all the time. We just don't notice. There's a lesson there, isn't there? <laughs> but on May 2nd, something very special took place. Um, the release of a film called Climate Hustle. And it played in 400 theaters, but only for one night. I just thought, wow, too bad that we're not gonna get to see this. And as it turned out, I did get to go see it. Here's what happened. Good morning, everybody. We're in Dallas. I'm sure you remember that Jay got his Easter egg hunt present when we were in Tulsa. By the time he got to open the computer, it was a few days after we had come back on the road and it was the wrong computer. I just woke up and found myself here at a Best Buy. What happened? I don't know, I got hit in the head and I just woke up. <laughs> what happened? Well, I went in, went, dropped the trailer, went into um, 
the terminal. I am asking for a huge favor, if it's possible, and told them about the computer. And if I didn't get it done today, uh, I wouldn't be able to return it. Yeah. So she said, I'll put some notes in here saying driver needs to run some errands. We'll go on the board when they're done. Okay. So they told me where she looked up where the closest Best Buy was. Uh huh. Now here's the thing I returned the computer. Okay. Um, you happy? Yeah. <laughs> so which computer did you get? Acer R14. And what's special about it? Everything. PC Magazine did a review top 10 laptops. Yeah. And this was among the top 10. It has an Intel i5 processor, 8 gig of RAM. It has a solid state drive. Okay, talk to us about the sexy stuff. Sexy stuff? That is the sexy stuff. No, it's not. It's the technical stuff. And it, it has these really cool hinges. So you can fold it in half. So you can use it as a computer on your lap, or you can use it as a tablet. That's so cool. Or you can do like this, a tent. Like watch, watch a, a movie, film watch or a movie. something. Yeah. The Easter egg hunt present is now settled. This is good. Yeah. We're in Dallas. Jay is over here pulling his hair out, trying to figure out Windows 10. <laughs> Gonna head over to Walmart from here, take care of a couple of things that we need to get to Papa Rob. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know what I'm talking about. Let's head over to Wallet World. Uh-oh, how do I get out of here? I have to find this AMC movie theater. It's on the inside of North Park Mall. This film, I heard about it yesterday, and I was like, oh, it would be so great to see that. I have my own thoughts about climate change, global warming, yada yada, which I won't go into right now. But I heard about this film that was opening for one day in 400 theaters all across the country and as it turns out we have a load at three o'clock a.m. and I have time to come do this I am really jazzed this is so cool I don't know what direction it is AMC North Park L2 I don't see it. Do you see it? I do. Look at it. It's this way. Okay. And then out that direction. That was very helpful. I love North Face gear. Do you work here? I do. Can you give me a clue about where the theater is? And go all the way straight. Okay. Already went the wrong way once. I just have to remember where I parked so I can get back. I'll just keep asking people till they find it. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, AMC box office. I'm here to see Climate Hustle. It's, it hasn't started, right? Very good. Now, where do I go? Up. Thank you. Thank you. Ticket has been purchased, and we're on our way to see this film, see what they have to say. Okay, it says 11. It is deeply oh, unethical. Like Al Gore genuinely believes that if he does not prevail, the apocalypse is coming. You know His opponents think he is the danger. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's a wonderful teaching tool uh, because it shows how we don't do science. It's clear that the Arctic sea ice is beginning to recede very rapidly. We saw Arctic uh, sea ice diminish to the lowest level we've ever seen. Already, polar bears are starving as the ice they hunt on vanishes, <laughs> along with the seals they eat. Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheet are melting faster than anyone expected. Satellite monitoring of the Arctic ice began in 1979 at the end of a 40-year cooling cycle when fears of a coming ice age were at their height. The North Pole lost one-third of its area and 40% of its thickness. And it didn't cause uh, a, a huge amount of a problem there, either with polar bears or, or anything else. Are polar bears disappearing? In 1960, as few as 5,000 polar bears roamed the Earth. Fast forward five decades, their population has only grown. There are probably five times as many polar bears now as there were in the 1970s, so it doesn't look like they're hurting too much. They're looking for poster children. It suits their advertising purpose. It has nothing to do with science. The fact that over the last 20 years of the 20th century, there was a minor fall in the area of sea level ice tells you nothing about climate change. If you compare the temperatures that were present in Greenland uh, in the 1930s, for example, and 1920s, it's clear that it was warmer in Greenland in the 1930s than it is right now. The temperature was warmer at the end of the 20th century than it was in the preceding 100 years is such a piece of kindergarten science. It's true, and it's completely meaningless in telling you anything about climate change. The Earth has a fever that is growing more and more intense. I do not believe the Earth has a fever because it's colder now than it has been through most of the history of life. The climate change grand narrative and the agenda behind it. Outrage growing over the co-chair of a UN climate change panel saying this, one must say clearly that we redistribute the world's wealth by climate policy. One of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. Well, look at how kids are being fed climate fears from a very young age. Global warming. 30 years? That won't affect me. Please help the world. Like getting your dad to insulate the loft? or taking your next holiday by train instead of flying, or buying energy-saving light bulbs. Now, no pressure at all, but it'd be great to get a sense of how many of you might do this, just a rough percentage. That's fantastic! And there's not. Philip and Tracy. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. Your own choice. Okay, class, thank you so much for today. Oh, just before you go, I just need to press this little button here. Now, everybody, please remember to read chapters five and six on volcanoes and glaciation. We will look at some of the well Are you kidding odd me? solutions to global warming. Maybe things like hygiene, where we've now normalized showering every day, sometimes twice a day. That means we have to wash our clothes, have to change our clothes every day. They've called for, quote, radical and immediate degrowth strategies in the U.S. We need to be a radical, almost overnight change. The only way to to stop runaway climate change is to terminate industrial civilization and some other solutions that are just plain terrifying. I call this human engineering. And what it involves is the bio mod biomedical modification of human beings. We can make humans smaller. So reducing the average height in the US by just 15 centimeters, for example, would mean a mass reduction of 23% uh, for men and 25% for women, with a corresponding reduction of the metabolic weight of 15 to 18%. Obviously, less people would exert less uh, pressure on the natural resources. And making yeah. fertility management ubiquitously available. Because we are already today already exceeding the planetary carrying capacity. Africa's projected to have more people than China or India by mid-century.
Okay, this is Pat. Hi. I was sitting next to Pat <laughs> in the theater, and this is Sherry. Is Sherry. Hi. And she was two seats over. <laughs> yes. And the three of us enjoyed the climate <laughs> hustle. Very like much so. Friends. Very much so. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Are you all? You're Dallas. Yes, Dallas. You're Dallas. Dallas. Okay, so these are my Dallas ladies. Yes, now you have friends in Dallas. Yes, I do. <laughs> this is a very good movie. We yeah. always speak with strangers. That's right. <laughs> now I have to ask, would you recommend the movie? I would. Yes, I would. Absolutely. Very informative. I would recommend it be shown in every school in the country. Yes. Just like Alpha. Definitely. Yes. And they could show both of them. Oh, and why and should And then they? have a discussion. I agree. I agree. This yes. is very good. So three thumbs up right here. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. The Dallas contention yes. on this film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So y'all have to come and check out Love and Travel. Yes. So you can see us all three. All right. At the same time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>